now that this portion of the stream has started, I have decided that we're going to do a little more Loop Hero. So thank you to my two viewers for staying with me. Obviously, you uh, were at least interested in what I was saying at the beginning. So let's see if you stay interested during Loop Hero. Um, if you've got anything to say, I've got feeds pulled up over here. So if you have any questions about what's going on or if you just want to say hi, I'll say hi back. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I have my main save file, which has been very heavy on figuring out what's going on, what to do whenever I'm recording. So let's go with my recording save file. Um, as of right now, uh, what has been posted is pretty much all I have. So I haven't really... I haven't beaten the first boss yet, I haven't unlocked any of the other characters yet, so let's just get it going. So again, basically what happens is um, I am now in the planning phase, which basically means everything is paused. Um, there's different tiles and such. Um, oh, let me... Move my face real quick. Okay. Now my face is moved back. Okay. Sorry about that. Didn't realize that uh, it was still covering over there. Apologies. Um, I have healing potions, which as it says whenever my life is in danger so this is the basically in danger bar um, whenever it hits that it'll use a potion uh, that will move up or down based on how many potions I have left and uh, yeah we'll just uh, keep it going my current damage is four to six because I have no equipment um, and then each tile has a different thing. A uh, 5% chance of spawning a slime once a day. Um, that is just the base tile. So uh, I move around the map. Uh, there's the day's progress. Even when I'm in the planning phase, fighting moves on. Um, I have a sword, so now I do more damage. I actually doubled my damage with that, which is nice. Of course, using a sword versus bare hands, no brainer. Um, this bar is the length of time until the boss shows up, which will fill as I place parts, place parts on the map. Excuse my English, it is... <laughs> For being born in America and living in America, my English can get kind of sketchy sometimes. Um, and then the day's progress, there are certain effects that happen every day's passing so we'll just keep going for now I have a road lantern I do not want to use it yet all right now we've got some stuff rocks uh, up my health always nice to have uh, put them in corners so that they can uh, basically accumulate things a little bit better a cemetery will be there. I'll put the battlefield here. And then, no, nah, I don't want a road lantern right now. Uh, road lantern will lower the amount of enemies that spawn. But the more enemies you fight, the more you level up. Though I don't have the leveling up system unlocked here yet. But, the more things you fight, the more cards you get. That's the big thing. Uh, I now have armor, and different colored backgrounds have different types of 
abilities. So the basic gray is just your basic one. Uh, blue armors have two abilities. Go ahead and equip that. So now I have 94 extra health and two defense. And we'll just keep going on the loop. I don't want to place a vampire mansion yet. I do not want to deal with that at the moment. Okay, that's another gray and a grove. Let's put the grove here. So we'll just keep it going until I start building up better stuff. God, two road lanterns. You know what? I think I will stuck up the grove right now and I'll drop a road lantern here. That way I don't end up pushing it out. Oh, I have a shield now and a ring. All right, that ring does magic damage, only profit. Both shields are a four. And the sword, as it says, is equal. Place another rock. And we'll keep it going. All right, now we got some stuff going. Um, I would rather have the 10% counter than more health at the moment. It's a strange dynamic how the game works sometimes, but get used to it. Uh, whenever this gets surrounded on all sides, it opens up and you get all of the resources inside it. Um, meadows are also great for uh, every day's passing, you gain health for each meadow. Uh, I now want to place this mountain. And where should I place this vampire mansion? Let's see. I don't think I have villages unlocked on this file yet, so I'll just place it here and see what happens. Let's see here. Axe, four to six again. Mountain once more. And now that is a blooming meadow. So certain tile combinations can create special effects so the blooming meadow uh, instead of healing two at the start of each day it heals three I know it doesn't sound like a lot but it does add up I promise and then every time you pass your campfire you heal which is also very nice Okay, so let's put down another meadow, let's put down the mountain. I just got an extra resource because it was next to that. And is it, okay, just a basic chest, nice. Level two ring with evasion and vampirism. So evasion, obviously I have a chance to avoid the damage vampirism. When I attack, I take said percentage of health back from the enemy so let's say I have 20% and I deal 100 damage I just healed 20 um, as far as I know the damage doesn't really get that high but I digress um, now that I have those special areas um, I'll start spawning new monsters which will give me better card rates better equipment um, and then you can see this effect here, uh, since it is all connected to the battlefield, there's a 20% chance of anything killed to become a ghost. I don't know if that just applies to enemy or if I have allies, if it will apply to them. Uh, regeneration per second. Versus vampirism and evasion. Yeah, that's probably better for now. Because now I heal passively and not just with potions or the campfire. So, uh, how are we doing? 
the two of you. Are we still liking what's going on? May not even be able to reply, so I may still be talking in the darkness. But that's alright. Uh, that shield's actually worse. I'm on loop 2, the shield should be getting better. Oh well. Uh, keep placing that, and once you hit your ninth piece, it becomes a mountain peak. And lots of, lots of happiness there, plus resources. And then we just keep going along. Let's see, let's put another grove here. Let's let's make this monster town. Okay, so there's another thing that happens whenever I place a tenth piece, which you are about to find out. Ooh. So, ooh, that's actually a nice place for it. Uh, Goblin Camp pops up every 10 pieces, which goblins can be somewhat difficult, but uh, also because of the difficulty they can be rewarding. We'll see how the first round with the goblins goes, and if I don't like what's going on, I can always get rid of them with the Oblivion. Uh, Oblivion just removes a tile from the field. Uh, oh, finally, a weapon that's not level one. All right, what do we got? Oh, level three, magic defense, defense, and attack speed. Oh, that's just profit, besides the counter. Uh, more regeneration, a lot more damage. Uh, damage to all may actually be kind of nice right now. Yeah, let's go with that. Especially if we're going to start fighting goblins, we're going to want AoE style damage. And now that Monster Town is more developed. Oh, yep. You see, he became a ghost. Oh, he even became a ghost of a ghost. So, Ghost of a Ghost is literally the only thing that doesn't have the cape. Whoa. That was new. Never seen that one. I didn't know Ghost of a Ghost could become a greater ghost. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, go ahead and place that. Why not? Uh, another cemetery. Do I want another cemetery in Monster Town? Not really. Spider Cocoon. Go ahead and get that there so that I can start spawning things with that. Um, I might have to lessen Monster Town in the future. Actually, you know what I can do? can drop a road lantern. That way Monster Town doesn't get a super overrun. We'll see if we can make it to the boss. Got another Oblivion. Haven't even had a use for it yet. Okay, there we go. There's my second battlefield. So, now I have a blood path. Uh, because those two combined... Um, still not entirely sure what the helpfulness of a blood path is. It creates an enhanced monster, so I guess just the payout. Um, uh, let's just start filling this up. So now that's opened up. I got some stuff from it. Um, hmm. 
I'll do these here. If I end up not liking it, then uh, I'll just kind of oblivion it. shield. No, that's definitely more health, but definitely not. The attack speed is very helpful, especially against goblins. Um, harpy spawns because of the mountain. Oh, hey. Asking you shall receive. More regeneration as well. just a slime. Uh, let's throw another meadow down. And there's the vampire. So big thing about him is 30% vampirism and uh, vampiric aura as long as there is a vampire on the field all enemies gain vampirism. Fortunately, it's not his 30%, but it can still hurt you. Um, and then we'll just keep going on the loop. I'm hoping to fill that up with all four spiders. Um, it's only going to fill with three before. Oh well. We will deal with everything as it shows up. We'll just keep filling up all of that with regeneration. Um, metamorphosis happens whenever you get the big changes. So, four enemies right there. Uh, if I get five enemies, then I have a chance at a... Uh, I think it's called an orb of change? Something along those lines. Basically, it'll... Uh, it's just an upgrade thing for later on. I'm starting to build my resources. Oh, right, can't place while I'm in combat. I can mess with these while I'm in combat though. Oh, that's so heavy on the evasion. What's my evasion at right now? 12% would be the total. No, we won't mess with it. Ooh, that has damage to all, which makes it a buff. Because basically what that means is it does 12 to 18 damage plus 5. Because it hits everything for an extra 5 damage. Which is always nice. Um, just keep going along the path, keep on a trucking. Oh, 5 rain. A level 4 shield with vampirism, higher defense, that is pure profit. Oh, let's see here. It has counter attack speed and vampirism, still has regeneration, it does not have my damage to all. Let's see, do I have any vampirism right now? Yes. Do I have any counter right now? No, but I do have that attack speed. We'll go ahead and say that that's profit. Um, don't want to put another vampire mansion. It may be time to start letting my cards go. Meadows. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and get rid of that now. Place a meadow in there. Keep placing more meadows for that regeneration. Regeneration, so helpful. Another road lantern, another mountain.
More rocks. Another goblin camp. Which goblin camp to kill, though? Let's go ahead. No, my regeneration's fine for that goblin camp at the moment. Here's what we'll do. Put that there. That way the goblin camp can't get too big. That's a better armor. Let's see what I got. All right. Heavy on vampirism. You know what? Maybe this is a vampirism build. Thirty percent. Now oh, this is the regenerating vampire. It seems. So yeah, already back up to full health. Nice. Halberd. No, definitely not. We'll keep, oh, there we go. I got five. Get the maybe it's harder to get at the moment. But, uh, we'll just keep on a truck, and I'm about two thirds of the way full. Uh, no, high uh, high defense, but I want that vampirism right now. Um, vampirism is not the build to go for when I get to the boss, but it is very helpful for the moment. The boss, I want just straight. I want as much evade as possible. Um, oh, another round of five. Ooh, they're hurting a little bit now. Of course, every loop, the enemies get stronger. Okay. Oh, there we go. Orb of Expansion. That's right. Let's get another mountain in there. We'll just keep it running. Say, so I hope you, uh, you viewers are doing well. Spider cocoon. Not really. I don't really have a good place to put it. No, uh, I don't want to use my oblivion. Alright, we'll just keep it running for now. If I do end up just if I do end up switching it up it'll be rather soon. Oh, I'm starting to lose health now. Alright, let's see what I can upgrade to. Higher damage, lower damage to all, but it still has the regeneration. Yes, that is positive. Damage to all encounter. I don't want the vampirism later, but I do want it for now. Go ahead and start collecting right there. And we'll just keep on the trucking. I haven't used any potions yet, but I'm getting close 
Don't know if I necessarily like that I'm getting close. Get another meadow in there. I'm gonna be losing cards soon. <clears throat> now there's the enhanced enemy. Oh shoot, did I just lose an oblivion? Yes I did. Shoot. Just keep throwing up rocks. Um put that up there so that, that gets filled. Throw on a rock, throw on another rock. That is not a happy place for that to be. Put that in the wrong spot, but oh well. Uh, let's see here. Nothing better. Okay. More max health. So much evasion. I'm about to have to use my first potion. Oh. Vampirism up with defense. No. Alright, let's try to start putting stuff in here. Uh, let's get another road lantern there. Nice. Get another treasury going. Ooh. Fourteen regeneration. Evasion and attack speed. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Start surrounding that. I should just let everything run. Another treasury. Yes, please. Okay, throw that meadow down, throw that meadow down. 
we'll start filling it up. Still not the best place for the night goblin camp to be. Keep it running. Okay, there's another oblivion. Still don't want to lose it though. some serious damage. Okay, so yep, that's better. Defense, generation, attack speed counter, defense is higher, evasion is higher, regeneration though. This is a profit. I need that regeneration right now. That one needs to stay the same now. Alright, we're almost at the boss. Shoot, had to use a potion. Hold on. 19 with damage to all and vampirism. My attack speed plus. Yeah, that's better. Ooh, hello. Health defense. Yeah, I guess we're gonna keep trucking along with the vampirism. That's almost the same damage anyway. Vampirism is slightly lower. But I get evasion. Defense. Yeah. About time I got another. It's time. Meadow, mountain, 
That one's almost full. Ow, that's a lot of defense and regeneration. Yeah. Oh well. Where are we at? Magic damage. Magic damage is going to help a lot here. Uh, damage to all is just too good right now. to have gotten one last oblivion, but we'll see if I can win. How? How is this even possible? That's right! You didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? Do you really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality. Everyone, its elements now rest in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, during everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane. So, what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with other pieces of reality. To organize, combine, and merge them. But how? I don't see any exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what is happening, don't you? I'll tell you what's happening. Pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors, a problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time then. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. And we wait. Pretty sure I'm gonna die. So close to. Oh well. Let's see. I will keep one. Oh really? I lost my orb of expansion. Dang. If I had been full health with all of my potions, I'd have gotten him. Oh well. I'm alive? But how? Thanks to us. A small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them ran it, vanished right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. Alright, and I think we will leave that there for the moment. Uh, when I come back, I will play with some of the buildings and such, and then we'll try once more for that first boss. So for now, see y'all.